Hey guys, I am trying to carry all these boxes full of bouncy balls. There are lots of bouncy balls that I will add up as soon as I carry the boxes. Whoa! Ouch! Looks like I have lots of picking up to do. Why don't you learn about adding multi-digit numbers while I clean up? Here we have two numbers we need to add together. We're going to add 7,891 plus 3,457. Both numbers have four digits. We need to see their place value to get a better understanding before we start adding. This is our place value house. This helps us see what the value of each number is. Our first number has a 1 in the 1's place, 9 in the 10's place, 8 in the 100's place, and 7 in the 1000's place. Our second number has a 7 in the 1's place, 5 in the 10's place, 4 in the 100's place, and 3 in the 1000's place. You might remember, but each place in the house can only have one digit per room, so remember that when we are adding. To add these four digit numbers together, we need to stack them so each place value matches directly above and below each other. See how each place value is directly above or below each other? The ones place on top is directly over the ones place directly underneath it. Same goes for the tens, hundreds, and thousands. Now draw a line under the bottom number. The area below the line is where we will write the sum, which is the solution to the addition problem. When we add, we always start with the ones column and then move to the left. I know that might seem a little funny since we read left to right, but in math, we start adding with the place value on the right and then move to the left. Let's start adding with the ones place. 1 plus 7 is 8, so we write 8 in the ones column below the line. Next, we add in the tens column. Nine tens plus five tens equals 14 tens. Hmm, we have a problem here. Remember that we can't write two digits in any one column, so we will carry the one up above to the next place value into the hundreds column. We call this process regrouping. It is okay to carry the one to the next column because 14 tens is the same as 100 and four tens. Now we are ready to add in the hundreds. Notice we have three numbers to add. 1 plus 8 plus 4, which equals 13. We run into the same problem here. 13 is two digits, so we need to carry the 1 to the thousands column. What is our next step now? We need to add the digits in the thousands column. 1 plus 7 plus 3 equals 11. 11 is two digits, but we don't need to carry the one in this case because our addition is complete. There are no more places to add. So the sum of 7,891 plus 3,457 is 11,348. We did it! Let's try another problem. 756 plus 478. Where do we start? We start by writing the numbers stacked, aligning each place value directly above and below each other with the plus sign on the left side. Then we draw a line so we can write the sum or answer below. Okay, it's time to add the ones column. Six plus eight is 14. Remember that we need to regroup or carry the one to the top of the tens column. Now let's add the tens column. One plus five plus seven is 13. Here we have to regroup again by carrying the 1 to the top of the hundreds column. Finally, we can add the last column, which is the hundreds column. 1 plus 7 plus 4 is 12. Do we need to keep adding? No, we don't. The sum or answer is 1,234. Great job, guys. You did amazing. Now let's take a look at a different problem. This problem is 4,566 plus 678. Let's stack our numbers, making sure to align each place value directly above and below each other. Great job! Now draw a line below the bottom number so we can write the sum below it. Why don't I give you a minute to pause the video and work this on your own?
Okay, it's time to add the ones column together. 6 plus 8 is 14. Remember to regroup or carry the 1 above the 6 in the tens column. Now we will add the 3 digits in the tens column. 1 plus 6 plus 7 is 14. Remember we have to regroup again by carrying the 1 to the top of the hundreds place. Which column will we add next? That's right, we add in the hundreds column next. 1 plus 5 plus 6 is 12. Do you see what we need to do next? That's right, we need to regroup and carry the 1 to the thousands column. We are on the final step. Let's add in the thousands column. There is nothing below the 4, so we just add the 1 and the 4 together. 1 plus 4 is 5. The sum is 5,244. Wow, you really mastered addition with multi digits. Great job, guys. I got all the balls in the boxes again. Wait, do you hear Mr. Robot? Oh no, 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 slow down. Not again. Hey guys, you have a few options here. If you want to subscribe, click the red button below. If you want to watch more awesome stuff, you can click the video on my right or on my left. If you want to check out our awesome new math game called Mage Math, click the link below. You might want to hurry and choose though, because I can't hold on forever. Hurry, choose, uh-oh. <laughs>